Okay, I've got a speedy sleeve to go over this back bearing surface and before you put it on you need to basically you know, make a cut just here and you can see this little tear line that allows you to pull it away so I need to cut that before sliding it on. So, just got a pair of tin snips. You gotta be careful you don't hit the um, bearing surface. get that ready and it comes with this thing that you can slide over it to be able to tap it on You don't want to smack it on really hard, but you do want to get it on there. You don't want to get it on there crooked. Start using the mallet that I know it's on there. Basically, trying to get the bearing surface back behind this front face. When, when you tear it off, it should tear off at this line here. <laughs> Opportune word is should. So that part you don't want to have back behind the back bearing surface either. Now when you get these, unless you're really, really good at doing your measurements, you do what I do, just to be sure, and you actually take your crankshaft down to the bearing place. They measure it check their catalog, give you the part you need. Like I said I want that to be, I've got it just behind the surface. I'll go back just a bit more. Have a look at a look at my actual bearing surface. My foil seal. I look at where that's got to sit. I think that's probably good. Fingers crossed this tears out all right.
Don't want to scratching my journal surfaces either. I can start breathing again. <laughs> so that's how you fit a speedy sleeve on. And um, looks like Max has got a brand new bearing surface. You just check it for burrs now, especially where your oil seal is going to be. But it adds a tiny bit of extra diameter to your bearing, but the oil. The oil seal will go over that because it's got the spring inside it, just in here. <laughs> 